It was a time of darkness. The universe was in turmoil. Who could save the world from destruction? Prahlad, a young boy born as the son of the greatest of all demons, was to become everyone's savior. This is his story. <laughs> What's happening? It seems the whole universe is coming to an end. What, what could be causing this terrible catastrophe? I heard it is the leader of the dark forces, Hiranyakashi Fu. He is the source of all this. <coughs> but, but why? What does he want to achieve? The same thing he always wants. Power. The rumor goes that he has gone to the top of the magic mountain to force the mighty Lord Brahma to give him power over life and death. Lord Brahma? Yes. <coughs> Then we must also turn to him to save us from this calamity. Demigods, humans, citizens of all planets, have no fear. I am perfectly aware of the impending destruction of the universe. It is the Dark One, evil personified, who is the origin of your distress. Seeing your anxiety, I will now grant him any wish he desires, and so end this destruction. Hiranya Kashifu. Reveal yourself. Hiranya Kashifu. I am here. Oh, Dark One. I am very astonished to see your endurance. In spite of your body being eaten away by all kinds of worms and ants, you are still alive. Oh, best of the demons. Who within the three worlds could stay alive like this for 100 years? Tell me, what is it that you desire? I will grant it. Lord Brahma, welcome. Grant me this, that I will never die. Impossible. Even I must die, although I am very powerful and wise. Then grant me this, that I'll never be killed on land or sky. I comply. Then grant me this, that I'll never be killed during the day or during the night. That's all right. Then grant me this, that I may never be killed by a man, woman or beast, inside or outside of a house. Grant me the benediction that I may have no rival. Give me sole lordship over all living beings and give me all the glories obtained by that position. As you wish. Now I give you a beautiful body of power that can withstand the striking of thunderbolts and that will endow you with almighty strength and mystic knowledge. <laughs> I'm immortal! Immortal! I have conquered death. The universe is mine. I shall vanquish all my enemies. Terrorize the universe. All bow before me. Wrong into right, laugh in the face of the gods and take their women for my sake. Army of darkness, hear me! Hobgoblins, demons, ghostly hordes roam throughout this universe. Destroy all good things. Rejoice in the death and destruction. Now, a reign of terror. Ooh, Hiranyakashibu. He really is a 
killer. Someone down to the Here He plays the game to win and never does give in. Drinking makes him happy, but also rather snappy. He's magical, tyrannical, exceptionally fanatical, despicable, inimical, till everybody loves him. Slow coach. We're going to be late. All right, all right. I'm going as fast as I can. Not fast enough. The mighty pool will have our heads if we're late. Do you know what time it is? Yes. <laughs> it's a quarter past cashy poo. Time for a jelly baby. <laughs> no time for snacking. Oh. It's the first day of term. And I, Professor Amarka, <laughs> personal tutor to the King's son, Pallard, have my reputation for punctuality. <laughs> I'm appraised for my pucker punctuation and... <laughs> Puncture in your bicycle. <laughs> Ow! That hurts! Not half as much Ooh. as the beating we'll receive if we're late to collect Prince Pallard for his first day at school. Well, we wouldn't have been late if you'd set the alarm clock. <laughs> That's your job. Look, stop it me. You're shouting at me again. You said you wouldn't shout at me anymore, but you're shouting, aren't you? You're angry with me. I know when you're angry. It's so obvious. <laughs> I'm not angry. <laughs> Frustrated, yes. Oh. But not angry. <clears throat> it's just the way you make a joke out of everything I say. I'm a serious person. And I'm a sensitive one. I'm going home. Sander. What? Sander. <laughs> Wait. Let's not get overreactive. After we've been to the palace, I'll buy you a large bag of jelly babies. Oh, well, that's different then. Off to the palace. My son, Pallard, you are my pride and joy. When I see you standing before me, I think of the wonderful things in store for you. Fame, riches, and lots of pretty women will be yours for the ticket. Learn well the ways of evil from your teachers. But where are your teachers? Shanda, Amaka! Oh, oh, here, here, oh. here, your majesty. We grovel in your presence, so great one. Oh, master of darkness, <laughs> we're, we're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, we're not worthy. worthy. Emperor of wickedness. Destroyer of happiness. Oh, ye with no friends. Oh, great unlikable one, whose breath smells like camel droppings. We're, we're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, we're not, not worthy. worthy. Enough of your sweet words. <laughs> My son, Pallad, heir to the throne of darkness, is now ready for educating in the ways of us demons. Enlighten him 
as to what our teachings are. Yes, so it is one. <clears throat> come, Prahlad. Yes, come, Prahlad, and hear the tale of the lessons we teach so well. Prahlad, it's true what we say to you. Listen to every word. Mm, yes, you've got to bend. Uh, you've got to swerve. Prahlad, you've got to have the nerve. It is so true. Conquer your foe, don't let them through. Wise words, brother. Stand your ground. Stand up, stand tall, don't be afraid of anyone. Yes, politics and dirty tricks is what we teach. Honesty, Honesty is weak, money is speaks. Honesty is weak, money is speaks. Blood will we'll make, make you hard. Don't, Don't be sad when you turn, turn bad. bad. <laughs> 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 yes. Speculate, accumulate, fill your mind with hate. Build your future on deceit, make your father's heart complete. Cause honesty, honesty is weak, weak. Money, money speaks. Honesty is weak, but money speaks. Lord, be, be like, like the king. king. Feared by everyone. Yes, he's the best at being worst. Everything you do, you win, win, win. <laughs> oh, yes. Now it's time for school, and today we have lessons in dishonesty, deceit, and deception. Like a jelly baby, Pilar. <sighs> See you later. Dictator. <laughs> It's been a bad while since you began your schooling. I am curious to know how you are doing. Have you learnt well from your teachers how to exploit and control all creatures? What my teachers say is very strange to hear. Loving tenderness and care I Inside, I know they lie when they say it's right to cheat and steal. My dear father, life is very brief, just like a flower that blooms in spring. It will happen. words may be true for mortal men, but I am a god. I am immortal. <laughs> My dear father, you think these things are true, but there is a god greater than you. Prelard, you are my son. I know you cannot mean these things. The only other explanation is that you're just repeating what you have heard from your wretched teacher self. Oh, what an evil man. These words your son speaks were not taught to him by me. Sander, was it you? You're the professor. You ought to know. I mean, all you ever get me to do is just run. But you were in charge of extracurricular activities. Silence! It is clear to me that there is some saintly person trying to influence my son. Guards, double, no, treble the sentries round the palace school. Keep a watch out for any suspicious characters. If you hear anyone speak in these words that my son has spoken, kill them at once. 
poor Prelard. Your mind has become poisoned by our enemies. But do not worry. If I hear any more of this talk of another god, heads will roll. Do I make myself clear, teachers? Bring him to me in one month's time. Now leave while I enjoy some wine. We have some terrible news. Your son, Prahlad, has been teaching the other children about... <laughs> about, about the Supreme God, Vishnu. Enough is enough. You imbeciles. You have taught my son about service to God. And now he is teaching it to the other pupils. Oh, enemy of goodness, we did not teach Prahlad these things. It seems his love for God has risen automatically. Uh, to be precise, uh, spontaneously. If not from your teachers, then where did you get it from, Prahlad? If I told you, Father, you could not know. To sit in on a thousand walls you could not understand. You are too attached to your power and might. I know it is wrong, but you say it is right. No, he is to love him, the Lord of us all. You say he doesn't exist, words spoken by a fool. Get away from me, Pilar, you sneak. These words make my blood boil and my body shake. You have become like a poisoned limb. Gods, finish him. Your father, hearing Krishna's glory is true, I'm not afraid of you. Father, do your worst. I will not resist your curse. Take him to the darkest dungeon. Make him suffer. Make him cry. Kill him. Kill him. This son of mine must die! I see you have some magic powers. We should be allies, friends, father and son together. Come, let us dine. Servant, bring a feast for my son. 
and put in enough poison to kill a thousand men. Prahlad must die. Ah, a feast for you, my son. Prahlad, eat, enjoy. Of course, father, but first I must offer it to God. Never mind this God, Prahlad, just eat. <laughs> Is the food to your liking, son? Yes, father. I like it. Like it? There's enough poison in there to kill an elephant. Where do you get your powers from? From the same place you do, father. From God. God? God? I am God. And because you are talking such nonsense, I can see you are preparing to die. You are always talking about a supreme being who is greater than me. But where is he? God is everywhere, Father. Everything is coming from him. Everywhere? Everything? Is here in the sky? Yes, Father. Is he here on the ground? Yes, Father. Is he here within my palace? Yes, he is. Where? Show yourself. Are you over here? Are you there? Blood! Is he inside this pillar? Yes! Then I shall smash it to pieces! <sighs> destroy the entire universe 
So please, I beg of you, become peaceful. My dear Blood, O oh most gentle one, all good fortune unto you. Please understand that all is well now. Ask of me any benediction. It is my great pleasure to bestow gifts upon all who approach me with love. Divine mercy, make this wish of mine true. Dear Blood, this request is befitting a devotee such as yourself. I assure you that your father and many generations of your family, both in the past and in the future, will achieve the highest goal of life because they are related to you. O oh, Crest Jewel among the demons, no one but you could have appeased me. O oh, Lord of the Universe, O oh, Lord Nashinga, who has assumed the form of half man, half lion, O oh, glories to you, O oh, glories to you! O oh, glories to you!